What is up everybody, Rasuli Plays here, bringing you guys Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu for the Nintendo Switch. Last time, don't forget to ask, there's a playlist link in the video description down below that will not only include all the episodes before this, but all the ones that come after as well. But in short, we defeated Erika and in turn got the Rainbow Badge, which I know is a weird name for a gym badge, but she's like one of those weird people that like to hug trees, so I don't know what you really expected. There, come on, almost got it, oh, so close. Come on, Jesse, why don't we head to the hideout now? Oh, come on, we've already handed over the Cubone to another Team Rocket member. What's the harm in taking a little break? How are we supposed to open the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? We just need to check the poster with the vehicle on it, remember? It's a poster with the vehicle that's the best way to represent us. Imagine being in the villain's uniform and speaking the plans out loud. That's why freaking Jesse and James can't get anything done. But here is a Rocket poster. I'm guarding this poster, go away or else. Or else what? You're guarding a freaking poster in an arcade that's like for children and teenagers. I say that, but you know, I'm an adult and I've been there multiple times. It's a good time, really. You know, I actually currently have the highest score in piano tiles at two of my local arcades. So, I mean, I'm not trying to flex on you guys or anything, but you know, <laughs> just know I'm out here. So basically, if you're wondering why we have a Machoke because we didn't have one in the last episode, I got real tired of the freaking rock type Pokemon that was giving me so much trouble. So I ended up bringing out Muscle Marinero over here, Mrs. Protein Shake, going out here doing big things. And hopefully I'm going to be able to help myself out. Right now it doesn't look like I'm doing so well because the flinch, it's like a 30% chance and it looks like it's 100 at the moment, but... What can I say? This Brick Break should break Eradicate's teeth and call it a day on that one, thus putting us closer to Team Rocket's hideout. And also we have a Pidgeot because I grinded off screen like a freaking maniac. Blast. You're about to get fired. At this rate, the location of the Team Rocket hideout is going to be discovered. I better tell the boss. Well, you better tell him quickly, but before we do that, we're about to step into the Team Rocket hideout. So it's going to be real smart for us to switch on over to Pikachu. Just for one reason, though. It's because there are a lot of Golbats, which is going to be great for an electric type Pokemon. I guess it wouldn't be too terrible for Kadabra either, but Kadabra is very frail. So that's what we're going to be doing. Hey, a switch is behind the poster. Let's push it. It wasn't even behind the poster. I put my hand a little to the right, but now this freaking huge door is going to open up on the left, but Jesse and James aren't going to pay attention at all. Isn't that just fantastic? And Meowth is, of course, sleeping. I wonder what game they're playing. A little Space Invaders, a little Tetris. They don't want to see me in Tetris, though. I'm actually really good at it. So we're in the Team Rocket hideout. This is a four-floor freaking building of insanity <laughs> and it gets worse once you get to saffron city so you guys better buckle in for a crazy ride it would actually be nice to have some good items here but i spent half of my money on ultra balls since one of the only ways to train in this game is catching pokemon i ended up catching maybe 46 growlith i was trying to get a catch combo going so i could have a higher chance of getting a shiny growlith but i never actually ended up getting one so it was a real shame. I was out there grinding for like an hour and a half and I didn't get anything. But at least I got a high level and a Pidgeot. So that is good. There's also a lot of items just laying around. So you got to get those. Five Ultra Balls. That's really good. There's also like a laptop. Regardless of what brand it is, we could easily steal that and sell it for like at least four or five hundred bucks depending on the specs, you know. Who are you? How did you get here? Well, there was a freaking poster. And inside the poster, it was like, oh, there's a button here, by the way, that opens a secret door in an arcade. How much are you guys paying the arcade guy under the table so they can actually let you pull something like this off? Of course, you have to pay rent, right? I know a lot of people, when they originally move out, they like to move into either a one-room apartment or if they can't get that, then a basement where somebody else lives upstairs. And that's fine. But you still have to pay rent for that. I mean, look, they have, like, little boxes all over the place. So I guess they're still moving in. But it's a pretty big office, I'll tell you that much. A Rattata? How are you going to have a level 29 Rattata and not even let it get into Eradicate? It's ugly regardless. So if you're just doing it for style. I mean, I guess purple has a little more sauce than brown. But you're going to have to wait it out on that one. 
two Rattatas. Oh man, this guy's lazy. Team Rocket needs to hire better help. If they put enough bread on the table, I would have been down. That actually would be a cool idea for a Pokemon game. If they were just like, you're the villain this time, then I'd be like, I'm down. I'm actually down to work for the bad guys because maybe then they'll actually win this time. But I guess it wouldn't be a good message for the kids. Letting the bad guys win. Oh, we got beat bad. Yeah, you did. You best retire, buddy. Hopefully you put in your two weeks notice because your job's not going to be going too well. Three mighty candies. Wowee. I mean, it is an arcade and one of the prizes you get is candies. Oh, I don't have the key card. I have to be out here battling the certain Team Rocket member to give it to me. And there's also going to be a thing where somebody... I'm a beautiful spy in an undercover mission. What's a child like you doing here? I'm just here for fun. Ah, you're an interesting child. That's for sure. Let me give you a present so you remember our little encounter here. Oh, wait! Just what I say, you'll feel as if you're a Team Rocket grunt yourself. Let your t-shirt be a real god. They'd figure out you were in a disguise immediately. I want to be Team Rocket. I also have a Pikachu set, though. But I'll put on the Pikachu set after we put on the Team Rocket set. We've got we to gotta flex audible just a little bit. This is going to be great. Hold on. I'm gonna be a grunt. Oh, that's it doesn't even have an R on it. Although black, it really like it's been in style for the longest time. Oh. Okay. What else we got? Oh, tell me they're black. Jeez, the the red and the black on them? What about the kicks? Ah, oh, the kicks don't have a lot of sauce. If it was like black with like red laces or red on the sole, that would have been some heat. I got the Team Rocket bag on him. And then as for Pikachu, we're going to have to do her well. They're going to figure us out, though. So what would even be the point of putting all of this on? <laughs> Probably because it looks incredible. I joined Team Rocket, by the way. That's all I'm looking. Hey, you're not going to get away with this, Brad. How'd you... I guess they... It took no time at all to figure out that we're just out here messing with them. Hey. Oh. I heard that you can see ghosts with the self scope. I'm one of you guys. Why are you battling me? Or maybe it's just a Halloween costume. I don't know. Or maybe the R stands for Rasuli. Am I right? Hypno. Oh, man. You're going to put me to sleep with that little freaking necklace you got there. You. I know you have some hypnosis going down with you i know a lot of people run hypnosis on hypno so that might suck ha i avoided it what's next for you i want to brick brick would be too insane to run it there you go he felt nose first and that's a big nose how much do you think freaking hypno is lying huh get a nose that big the pinocchio effect god damn Oh, man, this is... That's the puzzle right there. All right, so... That's going to push me down and then to the right. So if I go up... Where is that going to end? All right, and then I can get the item. There's a lot of good items here, so I recommend getting all of them. There we go. Real easy. I remember as a child, it was crazy for me to get past puzzles like this. But now it's... You could just look, you know, <laughs> just chain them together, see what works and what doesn't. Boom. In a way, can I get that will come useful eventually? Now for the, this item, we just have to do this and then just walk to the left. Rest, that's really good if you give your Pokemon like a chest up or something. Now, what type of business are we talking here? I'm going to go like this. And then that's going to be good. There we go. Now, as for this, though, I want to go to that side. So I'm going to move like this. And down there would push me out. But we want the items. So I'm going to go this route. There we go. Simple enough, but it's going to get a lot worse. But for now, we get our PP up. Wow. That's a problem a lot of older gentlemen have. But, you know, now that we're 
still young we don't have to worry about it but for future if there's no expiration date on it i'm sure we'll be fine we shall be solid this got me spinning like crazy right now it's no big deal though don't you think we'd get sick eventually though having me spin around like this for the rest of my life i swear i would get dizzy i might even throw up throw up on pikachu or just like take pikachu's hat off do we have the key card for the elevator nope it's a shame but it's okay though eventually like one of these team rocket rats are gonna be like whoa this job isn't worth 750 an hour you can have the key card what'd you hope to achieve by coming here i was i wanted the outfit <laughs> it would have been cool if you could just like bypass all of the trainers with the outfit on a oh, voltorb all right that's a good choice because it's gonna put me in an awkward position but it's also gonna suck for if you self-destruct then I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. Don't do it. Oh. Well, we're, I'll just don't don't have thinked it. If you thought about it, then I would be mad. But now I'll never know. I will never know. Don't you think that Team Rocket, where they're consistently stealing like crazy Pokemon, that you'd be able to have something that's not a Voltorb? Oh damn! They have the freaking Apple keyboards there. Those are expensive. A whole box of those. Like a couple hundred bucks. Intruder alert. How so? That's a bit of a broad assumption to make, don't you think? Typically, people like to do the game corner before you actually do the Erica gym battle. Because you can get a lot more experience by fighting the grunts. But I was like, you know what? My Arcanine <laughs> will be doing big numbers. And then I took Arcanine off the team. Because I was shiny hunting for one. Because I wanted a shiny Arcanine. But I wasn't able to get one. So my feelings are hurt for the rest of my life. But it's okay. Mew is level 40 as well. It's about to send up an R buck. I'm going to switch to Kadabra. Because it is going to take me at least a bit to evolve Kadabra into Alakazam. Because this is one of those Pokemon, I believe, if I recall correctly, where you have to trade them to somebody else to evolve it, so. I'm going to side beam you. I believe he, he gets Psychic at level 40. If my math is correct. But Kadabra is going to be really good for the Poison Gym. That's going to be coming up very, very shortly. I can't do it. 812 big ones. What do you mean you can't do it? What are you doing exactly? You're out here getting a lot of bread. So you got five great balls. That is going to be good. Now I'm just trying to consider. If I'm find the boss, take the elevator. All right, so that's going to be our hint. But now we have to go back down here. And find another way. Because right now, we're not going to be able to take the elevator. So we're going to have to start messing around a little bit. And mosey on down. Hey. Has four underground floors. Think you can reach the boss? I can. It's going to be no big deal. I'm just wondering who the boss is. Because I don't know if... Spoiler alert. Giovanni is going to be in the game corner. Because Saffron City is like the bigger mission. So we're going to have to see what's going down with that. But as for now, look who finally showed up, huh? We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Oh, that's why you were standing beside the phone. You guys got like this little landline plan going on. That's cool. So they, they call each other and they're like, hey, there's going to be like this kid where he's dressed up like us, but he's not actually us. So I wonder how much real Team Rocket grunts they battled by mistake thinking it was us, but it wasn't. Who knows? Who knows? You shall fall. Your wings are broken. You're gonna have to drink a can of Red Bull to get your wings back. What? I lost. No. Well, the phone call upstairs should have been a warning to you. You should have just left. Oh, that's solid. That is a solid TM. But who do we teach it to? I don't know. I have no clue. Alright, we'll do... 
We need all the items. X speed, that'll be useful whenever I decide to actually want to use an item that's of that caliber. It's an easy item right there. A rare candy! Okay, that's... I'm never gonna use it. <laughs> okay. Like, if you get a Pokemon to level 99, and then the grind to 100 is like a pain in the anus, then you could just use the rare candy. But beyond that, I wouldn't really... I wouldn't really use it. Alright, so now... How do I want to go about this? The answer is simple. There we go. They tried to play me like I was stupid. Are you kidding me? You must be joking. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs or else. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess that's right. You know, it really is none of my business. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm just getting in somebody's way for absolutely no reason. I'm stopping them from getting their bread and doing their jobs. So maybe I am the bad guy after all. But, okay. Now that you did that, that was borderline disrespectful. Now I'm meddling in your plans every day for the rest of my life. Every waking moment, I'm going to be thinking about how I'm going to sabotage Team Rocket today. But that's not a good mindset to have. You know what I mean? Because we all have to go ahead and do our own thing eventually. So I'm not too worried about Team Rocket. I'm just taking it one day at a time. No self-destruct, please. Imagine having a Pokemon that's built like a Pokeball. Oof, taken down. There actually is dungeons like that where you press the button to pick up a Pokeball because you think it's an item in there and then it's actually like a Voltorb. Good times, good times. Oh, we're getting awfully close. Two items in here. A Hyper Potion, that might be useful for our battle. And the fact that if you looked up, there was a item that's actually on the table right there on the left. So I'm assuming that that's the elevator key. Ha, huh, what's that? You see the elevator doesn't work. Of course not. I've been keeping the Luffy safe this whole time. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna be taking it from you. You can have it back though after I'm done beating the boss because I just don't wanna have I don't like having change or keys in my pocket because whenever I move around it makes a lot of noise. And then I can't be like silent. I'm not an assassin or anything, but you know, I don't wanna be walking around making a million noises. So I'm gonna have to think about it. That's easy destruction. All slimy and gross, though. It probably gives people a kick, though. Those people that like those weird slime videos. Ah, now I'm supposed to keep you from getting the lift key. Guess I'll have to use my own kind of struggle. You're gonna do the race? This guy actually did the race. Oh, my boss doesn't hear about this. Oh, that's a new one. Ha. Ah. Without that key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. If you think you get a back row up there, then I'd sure like to see you try. What if we could do like a... Can we climb the fence? This wasn't in the old game. How do I get it? So I'd have to find a way to get up there. There's no way you're getting... Unless you know some way to walk on top of walls or something like that happen. Looks pretty nimble, I gotta say. Why are you giving me hits? You're not If this actually happens, it's gonna be great. If there was two or something, it would be possible to reach it from there. I'd like around to see if we can find something you can climb. The chair. But the chair has wheels on it, that's not safe. Up you go. Yo, if I control Pikachu in the vent, I'm gonna If I control Pikachu in the vet. That's time for your partner. Should I get the key? Yo! Oh, what? Oh, that's Giovanni. That's crazy. Alright. No. I don't want to hear it, okay? Everyone that was like, yo, let's go Pikachu ate this, let's go Pikachu ate that. No. You're playing games right now. You're incredibly crazy if you really think 
that we're not out here. Who's that blue haired kid? Did you hear something just now? I did, that was definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? Err. Never mind, it's just been Meow's hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried over nothing. What happens if I jump off? The boss's Persian is so elegant. That fake out movie is always makes an opponent flinch in battle. It's strong and cool. Oh, so it's going to be basically the TM that we're gonna get, I'm thinking. Pop on came back to you. You got the lift key. That was that was good. I like that. I actually really appreciate that small little moment. That was good. That was good. Now there is possibly healing up there. If you talk to the machine. But I don't know if I want to be reckless and and just choose not to use it. I easily could just choose not to use it, but uh is that healing oh guard spec where'd that come from it's not healing all right now i wasn't gonna use that anyways but i was just checking it did look like it was but those already six balls in there so i guess you couldn't have like how could you have used it right now then when it comes to the elevator it is downstairs right you have to still go through the little puzzle to use it. There's just a, quite a bit of floors. I, I know like it seems confusing now, but just wait until you get to Saffron City. Oh man. That's going to be a delight and a half. It's going to be good. It's going to be real good. Alright, so now... There we go. And then from there, we do this. Is the elevator even here or am I just lying to myself? I do feel like it's here. There it is. Alright. Boom. There we go. I wonder what the weight limit on this one is. So let's go to the fourth floor. It's fourth floor is down, right? Yeah, it is, because I see, I see Jesse and James over there. And an item, which should be a good one, since we're at the bottom. An elixir! Oh, so it's basically to help you raise your PP. Not your PP, but, you know, your moves if you haven't had a lot of uses left. You, you're that twerp from Mountain Moon. Just how long are you going to follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, what do you want? Well, that's a fact. I want to join Team Rocket. <laughs> What? Really? You saw your two-show potential, though you're not nearly as beautiful as me. Wait a minute, you're trying to trick me. It doesn't matter. There's no way we're letting you through to see the boss. It's payback time for the fossil from Mount Moon, you brat. I want... I, I want to join Team Rocket. I can really help the operation. You guys aren't smart enough. All your plans are like... Oh, man. Alright. It would have been better if I had Kadabra instead of Need Arena, but... I mean, what can I do? What can I do? Now then, as for you, I'm going to crunch the Arbuck. Weezing might actually live the thunder, though. Weezing is built like a ball sack. Yeah, okay, there you go. I don't know if it was the insult that killed him or if it was the thunder, but it, the Weezing's gone, so... Oh, we both thought of the same thing. My Crunch could actually have a chance to lower the defense of a Pokemon, so... We're gonna see how that's gonna go for us, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna bust out the Thunderbolt. I like how James is holding a Rose, though. That's cool. There we go. Perfect. Did you know that Arbok spelled backwards is Cobra? Says everybody whenever they see an Arbok acting like we don't know already people have been telling me that ever since i was a kid such a dreadful tour but i was so confident this time you tried you tried jesse it's okay hmm, how infuriating don't let it go to your head just because your pokemon were a teeny tiny bit stronger exactly and if you did defeat us in battle we're still bigger and stronger than you we'll just use brute force to oh Looks like T-Rock is blasting out. Yo, Pikachu was like, yo. Because Pikachu always does Thunderbolt or Thunder to, you know, 
That's completely exasperated, hey. You gotta chill. Who's a good girl? There you go. I'm gonna give you this pineapple berry. Alright, you earned it. Chomp that up. You beautiful soul, you. Let's go get a victory. Alright, let's do it. Who is that? Just one look at the self-scope and it's just plain to see. Self-co has definitely had the technology and skill Team Rocket would need to make our wishes come true. Huh. A machine that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen. It's nothing but a useless toy. Still. Yes, this could do. Carry on, Archer, with your plans to take over self-co for Team Rocket. Yes, sir. Who are you? What's a child doing here? You listen to our conversation without saying a word. I don't much care for that. I am Archer, an admin of Team Rocket, and I do not go easy even on children. That's interesting. So are you the boss battle? Or is it still going to be Giovanni? Because I am interested in fighting Giovanni. I do think that'll be a good f battle for me. I do believe it. Oh, you lucky individual. That, if that point. Oh, okay. You know, you know that would have clocked you, right? You know it would have. How about now? Do me nice, Pikachu. There we go. The Team Rocket disguises it. It's not really working out for us, though. I mean, we almost got a job. Jesse almost gave a job, but she thought we were lying. I should have kept... Oh, that's incredible. I appreciate that. We should have kept our resume in our back pocket or something. But whenever you, keep, you put a piece of paper, like a resume, in your back pocket or a cover letter... And it gets crumpled up, the employer won't think you're serious, and you'll be more likely to not get the job. I don't know. That's a tough decision. It's a it's a real toughie. But there's some advice for you when it comes to getting a job. You can even laminate your resume, but they might think you're a weirdo. Recover. Oh, that's a rough one. I'm gonna keep my old moves. I mean, your defense sucks anyways. Who says you're even gonna live a hit? What a blunder. This guy said blunder. I wonder what his vocabulary is looking like. Forgive me, Giovanni, for me to be defeated by a simple child. Giovanni's the type of guy to use a Mac. I'm gonna go sit in his chair for the disrespect. No, I mean, it's like, it's a freaking couch. He does have a ride-on on his wall, though, and a Persian, so I'm gonna assume he's gonna be using a ride-on and a Persian, which would make more sense to use Machoke. Right? Do I potion him up, or am I, am I saucy? I'm not saucy, I can't do it. Just one, though, you know, 88 HP, it ain't that bad. No, Hyper Potion? Hell no, I'm not gonna use that. So, you defeated Archer. I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. And I'm the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni. Giovanni's actually a legend. I really like the way that he does stuff. What, well, you want me to release a Cubone? Wahaha, <laughs> you came barging into our hideout just for that one amusing child. But for your insolence, you'll feel the world of pain. This guy's looking right over our heads. Listen, I know I'm, not, I'm like freaking three foot five and you're like six foot eleven but chill you know just go play in the nba or something you know what i'm gonna a hundred percent guarantee you that this persian is gonna use fake out so we might as well just use like x attack or something and just boost our attack a little bit yeah, <laughs> there was really like, there would have been nothing I could have done in that situation anyways. Submission. Let's see what's going to be going down with that. Tap out. Did tap out. That's it. You're new champion. Oh, pfft. I didn't know that move had recoil because a lot of people don't use it. A rye horn, not even a rye dawn. What should I do? I wonder if I'm going to be able to outspeed it. I know it's slow. But I am also slow and one level under it. 
Brick Break's not gonna kill that anyways. Okay, let's do submission. I I did it for the good of the team, alright? I didn't I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to, but we both have to go out. You went out like a champion though. What? This can't be. 5600 big? Well, this guy really is the boss, huh? You're underpaying your employees, though, but I took their bread. So I, too, am defeated by a child. Do as you wish with that Q-bone. Thank you. And take this as my apology for mocking you. What a... He's actually a great guy. Right? He's a great guy. I can see you raise your Pokemon with the utmost care, but you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. But I hope we will meet in battle again. An, an incredible boss. It, there in the other Pokemon games, we're just going to be able to find out the identity of that ghost. Kimo seems to have gone home on its own. Why don't you get out of here and try to figure out how to use that self scope or something? That's a little rude. I want to take a picture in the boss's chair first, for just for the for the gram. Look at me, guys. I run Team Rocket. <laughs> New job, by the way. That's how we're going down. But I respect Giovanni as like a video game character. It's it's pretty cool, to say the least, to have Giovanni running around doing his thing. I mean, he runs a respectable business. Uh, his employees aren't the greatest in the world, but he does what he got to do to get this bread. And <laughs> clearly that's what life's all about, so I can't be too mad. Do -do. Do -do -no 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 -no. You can actually get cool Pokemon at the game corner. But they've run out of game coins. But there was like, if you go to the prize section, they have like, freaking, I believe, was it Porygon that was in there? I remember you could even get a, a Dratini if you had enough money, I believe. Oh, what is this? Strange vehicle with a bunch of balloons attached to it. Are you curious, aren't you? You curious about me and this machine? Do you want to know the details? Yes. Okay, if you insist this machine is a great vehicle, that'll see the fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention. If I do say so myself, it's not exaggerating to say this is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to ride this machine. The secret technique, Sky Dash. Oh, that Pikachu wants to fly it. Great, it matches my inspiration perfectly. All right, let's get right to it. Do this and that. Hold this handle and pull. Then that would be like that. With these balloons, you're in the air. So now we can actually fly to different cities. That's going to be great. Select play all Pompa in the main menu, then select secret techniques. Will do. You can have this machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips through the sky. That's perfect. You just shake your Pokeball Plus, and you can already talk to Pompa. Kansas still wants to move around. Alright, so we're going to move around in the sky with Sky Dash. Where shall we head to, you may be asking. Obviously, it's going to have to be Lavender Town. Because that's where we're going to be going to next. And I'm really curious, because I know, I have a feeling there's going to be a Ghastly there. But do I want a Ghastly on my team? Who would Ghastly? Ooh. Boom, boom, da, 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 da. No. Oh, look at this guy. I'm not, I'm not going to cock block him. I won't. So that's Cubone's mom. That's right. Team Rocket keeps going after Marowak so it can sell those skulls they were for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for its mother even though she's gone. I just can't forgive that Team Rocket. Me neither. I saw Cubone heading into a town a little while ago too. I'll go look for it and I'll keep an eye out for that Mr. Fuji too, the one who's been missing. Thank you and be careful. Go in. I really don't like ghosts but I've got to do this. So go. Are you going to do it? I'm, I'm gonna go. Oh, Rasuli, nice timing. You caught most of that, right? What'd you say? You wanna come with me? Okay. Thanks, pal. It'll be a big relief to have you. I'll just have you lead the way. Alright, can I just go heal my Pokemon real fast, though? And who would be a smart decision to be fighting ghost Pokemon? Crunch. Crunch would be... Actually, I don't wanna have you, like, out of the Pokeball, though. I need I need muscles. Would muscles even help like against a ghost? Is that how you're feeling? I'm not 100 percent sure how muscles would work against a ghost because you can't choke out a ghost. You can't punch a ghost. It's it's a gamble. I'm surprised my rival didn't say anything about me dressing a Team Rocket here. Like, so let's go with a new job. How much does it pay? Where do I hand in my resume? 
that rhymed. I wasn't even trying to spit bars. It would have been cooler on the Lavender Town beat, though. Do you remember whenever people were talking about the conspiracy theory with Lavender Town? That it made people crazy or something stupid like that? I don't really remember. So I'm gonna remove your cap and I'm gonna I'm gonna do like what crazy pet owners do where they dress up as their pet with their pet with the Pikachu setup. And then people are gonna know that I'm such a big fan of my Pokemon. And I'm also a huge fan of Bumblebees. Remember Wiz Khalifa made that song, Black and Yellow? Yes, indeed. You know what it is, yeah. So that's that's what that's what basically this is, but we we didn't remember that it's not freaking 2012 anymore. And, or was it it's was it earlier than that when he dropped that track? I don't know. Black and yellow, I mean, you have to be a certain person to pull it off though. Is it me? I don't know. I don't know if I could pull off black and yellow, but all I do know is that we're gonna be getting down to this mystery. It is quite scary though. Maybe a little too scary. Might I say so myself? Some spirits. Oh, I want to get that item. I need every single item. And I need them now. Because I don't want to miss a good TM. And then I can't teach my Pokemon that move. I don't want to miss a Moonstone. I also won't be able to. Now, but now I'm just thinking. I don't know if I want a Needle Queen or a Needle King on my team. I'm not 100% sure. Because Pikachu, my Pikachu is a female. So she's already a queen. Put on the self scope. Alright, do you really think there are ghosts in here? Huh, Rasuli, what's that? Self scope revealed the ghost's true forms. Yes! Alright. Whoa, that's crazy. So those ghosts were actually Pokemon. Yep. Why are they all gone now, though? I wanted to catch that haunter that just popped up. Be gone, Malevent Spirit. Uh, what are you? Are you possessed? It's like a children's horror movie. Chandler Patricia. Yeah, she's definitely possessed. Look at her eyes, too. How'd you even... I don't know what's going on. This is like The Exorcist. Do you remember The Exorcist? Was it that... Was The Exorcist the... The girl that, like, went backwards down the stairs? Or was that the... The Ring? I'm a huge fan of horror movies. I don't know if you guys knew that. Like, every single new horror movie that ever comes out... I go to the theaters with my homies... Or a love interest and watch the movie and it's it's you know one of my favorite experiences of that week just because I like I like chilling I just watching a movie you know what I mean and since you are in a movie theater typically when you're watching movies at home or at a friend's house or something like that it's real easy to have your phone out but in a movie theater where that's kind of against the rules I know you can easily rebel and be like I'm gonna use my phone anyways but I mean, it's a lot easier to enjoy the movie because of knowing that there's a real place against it where people around you typically won't have their phones out either, so. Anyways, Ghost of Pokemon aren't really that scary, so keep going, I guess. Look, look at that little baby Ghastly! <laughs> you see a little baby Ghastly? Holy, it's like the size of... It's, it's the size of something small. Yeah, it's, that's funny. It was a little baby. A little baby. I can't. I can't. I want to catch it. I wonder how small the Gengar would be. I would just like small little Gengar just walking around like a small little tongue. Oh, that'd be great. That would be great. That's some good experience. What am I doing? A thousand big ones. Can't say I'm mad. Oh. I grew up in size. I could tell this is going to move around to the left and to the right. I have a feeling. But I was still able to actually land one. It wasn't a perfect catch. But, you know, the fact that you are actually yellow on an Ultra Ball is really upsetting to me. Because Ultra Balls are, are like, recent. So, I don't know. It would be cool to catch the Galaxy, though. I'm not going to use it because I have seen that there are Haunters in this location. So I'd rather just have the evolution of that. And then Gengar is going to be a pain in the anus to get because it's a trade Pokemon, right? So 
Super Potion. Alright, I'll take that. I will take that. It is not too shabby. Although I do want to go... What was the Pokemon? I just heard a cry. That was not crispy. It could have been a little lower in order to get the... Great. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, there we go. That's good. That's real nice, too. And now that we have the little black and yellow situation going on, we even match with Ultra Balls. And we are starting a little catch combo with Ghastly. It's a shame it's going to be broken. Because it's not really... Oh, they have Cubone running around, too. That'd be a good Pokemon, but I'm not really interested in using a Cubone at the moment. So I'm going to have to pass on that. Can I, I want to check the item first. Before I battle you. An awakening! Oh, that wasn't even worth it. That wasn't worth the big journey. Okay, now you're just avoiding me. The way she just turned, she's seen me and she turned around and she's like, Oh, this kid. He knows what he's doing wearing these bright colors at a freaking cemetery. Ghastly. Okay. I hope I don't run out of PP from my crunch. That would suck. That would be ter- Oh my god, Sucker Punch is gonna be the death of me. You guys remember Mega Gengar? That's an incredible Pokemon if we can actually get that going because you guys let me know that Mega Evolution is actually in this game, so I don't know. I don't know. It's it's gonna be great. If I can if I can get to it, it would be cool. But I'm gonna have to keep going up the stairs for now though. Probably burning bare calories. Hopefully my Pokemon Go Adventure Sync is on. That was like a new feature that they put on Pokemon Go where you can your app doesn't even have to be open and it tracks how long you've been walking. Teleport, alright. Well, I took that off of my Kadabra, so it's nice to know that I could put it back if I want to. Beat me not. <laughs> Beat me not. Psych. Okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, Ghastly might actually be really good for the next gym. Because the next gym is going to consist of Psychic type Pokemon. And although we do have Crunch on Need Arena, it's not Stab. And it may not be enough to get us through the gym. But if we had a Gengar or a Haunter. Because I don't know if we're going to be able to get a Gengar by the time we fight that gym. Because I'd have to, have to trade with somebody. Hmm. Ouch. Boom. Thank you. I appreciate that 354 experience. Huh? Who? What? <laughs> well, you still possessed by like a demon or something? I don't know what's going on with you. I want... Oh, this gas just spawned out of nowhere. And we do have a catch combo with this, so we might, we might as well catch this one. Increase it while we go up the floors. Wouldn't it be crazy if we actually ran into a shiny ghastly at the top? There's gonna be a Marowak at the top though, right? So in theory, wouldn't we like... Can you catch it though, the Marowak? I remember you fight it. I don't know if you catch it. It'd be like a little boss battle Pokemon. Just a little bit though. Full heal? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, so I'm assuming you guys are gonna try to put us to sleep later. I see a bone and crying. It's probably the Marowak. These people are actually kind of creepy when you really think about what they're supposed to be. Which I believe, personally I believe they're possessed because they're in like the cemetery. And like cemetery is like apparently ghost season. But I don't know, it's kind of a freaky topic to talk about. Because I'm afraid that if I talk about it, that I'm going to see something. Like later, in, like in real life, that I wasn't supposed to see it. It's going to ruin my life. I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue. I actually I actually just looked behind me. I got a little paranoid for a second. Oh god. I hate myself. I get scared really easily too. I don't know if you guys knew that. I can't even like I could go to like haunted houses and stuff, but 
I I'd prefer not to. Which is weird because I was just talking about how I love scary movies and I do. I really do like scary movies. But like haunted houses and Haunted House is like not maybe not isn't like the worst thing in the world to me, but like real stuff is is what really would freak me out. So like I know a lot of people a lot of movies like the cap and be like, oh, this is based on a true story, and it'd be like just like a small majority of it would be based on a true story, and then like 99.9% .9 of the movie is just made up along the way. It'd be like, you know, some guy was walking up the stairs and then, you know, he heard a, a sound from outside. But he thought that there was a ghost in his house. And then they took that little portion of the story and actually turned it into a ghost inside the actual man's house. It's... it's whatever. I, I'm freaking myself out right now just talking about it though. You have to, can we switch like the subject to sunshine? Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. Alright. I better stop singing before I actually get a record deal. Holy... If I get a record deal, then oh, look at that little in symbol in the middle. Does that heal your Pokemon? I feel like it does. Do I need it though? No. Uh, the only reason <laughs> she did she hit us with the join us, uh, join us, join you guys at what? It like I, I don't know. I'll join you in getting a Haunter if I can get one of those, if you don't mind. I'd also like to join you guys in like getting my PP back up for my crunch. Maybe I'll use PP up on Thunder, right? Maybe Thunder or Thunderbolt on my Pikachu. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work like online. It doesn't increase your PP online. But what a nightmare! Are you scared? Three Pokey Balls. All right, I'm gonna take this. A nugget. All right, I'll be willing to. Sell that for a pretty penny. Oh, okay, there you go. Hey, come child. I purified the space here. You can rest yourself for a moment. No, but I don't want to rest myself. I need to go to like this side to fight this lady. There's a lot of ladies that want to throw hands with zombies, she said. I thought we were talking about ghosts. <laughs> like, oh my god. Alright, whatever. Karina? Haunter? I shall, you throw me a hunter, I shall raise you a Nidorina and hit you with a crunch. Delicious. Alright, there we go. I fell straight to the ground too. And now, as for the Ghastly, that was going to be easy. Now, when it comes to the Marowak, I hope I can catch it. Like, what else are you supposed to do if you can't catch it? They're going to make you fight it, right? So, I don't know. Because you can't fight it before you catch it. Because they, they don't let you fight wild Pokemon. But I guess it, would be, it wouldn't be a spawnable Pokemon. Like, you'll be able to get it, obviously, because you see Cubones running around. An Ice Stone? Mm, that's quite interesting. She was just making weird noise at that point. I didn't even want to read it. <laughs> it would have made me sound suspect. I didn't want to do that to myself. Four Pokemon? Alright, now you just wasted my time. <laughs> That's a lot of Pokemon. I'll defeat them one by one though. If we're really going to be out here just sitting around. Yeah, if you sucker punch me like the whole way through, I'm actually going to be disappointed. Because it's just, it's just chip, chip damage. Unless you go from Ghastly to Ghastly to Haunter to Gengar. Then, like, maybe you still wouldn't have a chance. But you'd have a better chance. Alright, so, so far it's working out. This is your second Ghastly. Alright. Boom. There we go. Now you're going to have a Haunter. About to send out. Oh, okay, I guess. So I'm guessing your last Pokemon's gonna be a Haunter. But like, uh, maybe maybe she just doesn't have friends. Right? Maybe she just doesn't have friends to trade. That's also possible. Or maybe she got scammed. Somebody was like, yeah, I'll help you evolve. Your freaking 
perfect 6 IV haunter that's shiny. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate that. And then what happens? You don't get it back. You don't. And now she's starting from square one. That's, that's life. Life comes at you real quick, let me tell you. Example A, freaking this chick. What was her name? It was something like weird. What was it? Janae. Alright, Janae. Now go freaking take a shower because your face looks dirty. Everyone else has like this, this stuff over their face. Oh. It is huge. Wait, are we talking about the ghastly? Yeet! How is that not a nice catch? Uno, dos, tres. Ho ho! Wowee! The damn near broke my wrist catching all these Pokemon. My goodness. I'm not gonna be able to put in work at the trap. Mew go to level 41, that's good. That is great. I might have to actually replace Mew on the team because I keep refusing to use it. Because <laughs> I feel like it's just like one of those ones where if I use it, I will feel bad. Because it's like, it's Mew. And like using that on like a first playthrough, you're kind of crazy. It's like, it's like a beginner's cop out. And I'm not a beginner at Pokemon, you know, I've been playing this like every day for my whole life. For a while. Like, po literally Pokemon Go. I can't, when I go outside, right, whether it's to be getting this bread, which is usually one of the only reasons I go outside, or to hang out with my homies, or hang out with whoever, I have Pokemon Go in my pocket, because I have a Pokemon Go Plus, just so I don't have to take my phone out, and also, like, long trips in the car also help out a lot with the Pokemon Go Plus, so. I don't know. You could also use the Pokeball Plus for the, like, same thing. And you could also put a Pokemon in it to take with you outside, but I don't know. The Pokeball Plus is a lot easier for me because it's just... The Pokemon Go Plus is a lot easier for me for Pokemon Go because I could just put it on my wrist. And it looks, like, real childish, so... Like, I don't care if people know... That I play Pokemon, but I don't want to like rep Pokemon clothes and stuff if it's not fire. And in my opinion, the strap isn't fire, so you could just I, I have it as a as a white strap instead of like the weird blue whatever that you got going on. So that's what it is for me. I don't know. It is what it is. Though. I mean, you you can wear whatever you want. That's that's what life's all about. Life is all about expressing yourself. So if you want to do it through your clothes, then knock yourself out. If you want to do it through, you know, whatever else, then keep doing your thing, homie. All right, so I just took a bite out of this ghastly, right? Don't ask me how you could take a bite out of a ghost because I just proved it. And not a lot of experience to be given, but oh, Tammy. It's actually interesting. All right, so what's going on over? Here? Holy crap! This is a lot of trainers. The thing is, I don't know if they're gonna be possessed still. Like, if I finish off the hey, all right, they go despair. She said because I don't know if they're going to be possessed even at what if I finish off. A Marowak. Because maybe Marowak's the one who has everybody under the curse. If I had Sucker Punch, that would have been good too. Because then we, I could have Sucker Punched you so you couldn't Sucker Punch me. Because if you, if you use like two same priority moves, I think the person who's faster gets to go first. So that's what I'm talking about. Am I going to switch out? No. Me switching Pokemon is unheard of. I don't have to let my Pokemon die because I'm too lazy to press the extra buttons. Oh, you guys are... You guys don't have any sauce the way that you guys are just spamming Sucker Punch. I guess I'm also spamming Crunch, but at least I'm not wasting the opponent's time. What Kadabra's level 40? What a level does Kadabra actually learn Psychic? I think I should evolve him to an Alakazam as soon as I possibly can, but... 
crunch. Delicious. A high source of nothing. <laughs> because it's, it's a ghost, it's freaking hollow. Angelica! Wowee, look at this, like, how many children did this freaking person have where they all look the same? Hey. Oh. Alright, so you don't want to talk to me, you just want to make weird noises into the microphone. Amelia! That's a lot of Pokemon you guys have, the same ones over and over again. I'm yet to run into a Haunter, too. Why is he a Rayman? Because the hands are, like, detached from the body. So. Oh, that's a new one. Wait, you're actually faster than me? How? I'm like 10 levels above you. I know Gengar is fast, but I didn't know it was like that fast. Alright. You learn something new every day. Are you faster than me again? Oh, Shadow Ball! That has a chance to lower your special defense, actually. I'm gonna be able to level up, but after this I might have to switch. Go back downstairs, heal my Pokemon, and come back up. Which would be a pain in the anus. But I don't know if I want to leave, though. I don't know if I want to switch. Should I? I don't know, Haunter again. Who could help me out here? It's gonna be Pom Pom because none of my chokes moves are gonna work. Cadaver would get destroyed. It only makes sense, and Pom Pom's probably gonna be able to outspeed because Pikachu's fast. Fast as the day is long. But the days are getting shorter since we're in the winter months, but. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Something fell out. Your teeth? Do you wear dentures? I don't know. I don't know if I could trust you. Because if your teeth aren't real, then what is? If your teeth aren't real, then how can I trust that the words that are coming out your mouth are authentic as well? Ha! <laughs> it's a little, little Kiki challenge. The Kiki challenge is old. Come on, have a little respect for yourself. Uh, how about the driving car with that? I thought she was about to bust out a Gengar because she had one Pokemon, so. But she did not. She did not. Alright, I shall end you. Oh, God. Was it really worth the seven damage? <laughs> You fell off. The other trainer that was like behind you in the food chain had three haunters, higher level, and better moves than you. Jennifer. You guys remember Jennifer's body? That move was good. It may just be because of Megan. You look like a little bit choke trying to get through. You, you know you're too big to go through there. You gotta chill, homie. There's a lot of good items here. Now, as far as I'm concerned, we are getting very close to the Marowak, and I'm sure you can't actually catch it. Be gone! Oh? Be gone, intruders. Ah, this one's even bigger than the last one. Use the thing, the thing you used last time. The binoculars? I'm loving this whole cutscene thing. Oh god. This is kinda sad. This is actually kinda sad. Oh. There, there, buddy. She's in a better place now. True form of the ghost was the rest of the spirit of Cubone's mother. The mother spirit was calm, returning to its kind and gentle nature. It departed to the afterlife and disappeared. Cubone, you, you just came here because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? 
Sorry for thinking your mom was scary, Cubone. Rasuli, I, I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm going to take it home. Oh, if there's someone named Fuji upstairs, do you think you can see him home too? I've got this. Are you not scared at all, Rasuli? Man, you're full of confidence, pal. You definitely seem dependable. What? You rescued Cubo from Team Rocket. When did you go and get that strong? Right, well then. Guess I'll leave this up to you, Rasuli. Come on, Cubone. All that said. Uh, stuff like that, you know, is, is, is real crazy. It is real crazy. It was... Oh, okay. Let's go upstairs and see Mr. Fuji. Mr. Fuji, do you have the Pokemon Flute? Stop right there. We'll be going first. With that Spectre out of the way, we can finally get to the top. Guess you're the old geezer so they call Mr. Fuji, right? You're going to be repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. Hey, Norris, all you like. We're used to it. We will take no for an answer. You'll help the boss whether you want to or not. I don't know about that one, Chief. Gramps here thinks he can resist, so we're sending him straight. You better disappear, Torp, or be prepared. I, uh, for a funny Team Rocket two times in one episode. Granted, it is like double the length of an episode that we normally make, but... I mean, I, I didn't want to split the story up into two parts, you know? I want it to seem like more of like a movie than anything. Now this is interesting. I don't really think this is going to work out. What if, we, what if we do Fury Slips? That's a new move and I didn't get to do it. Now if we both fight Weezing, we should be able to knock him out, right? Oh, that's going to... Don't get the poison. Okay, good. Cause I, what? What? Don't get the poison. I missed two times? Bro, you're not... You're actually not serious about life. Oh, no. That's gonna knock me out. Alright, fine. You got me, alright? You got me. I don't wanna send out... Actually... <laughs> okay, t tell me it's not some sort of conspiracy where the, the, the teams are cheating. Because this always happens to me. I'll tell you what, though. We're going to get rid of Arbuck first because Arbuck is faster than Weezing, so it would be more beneficial. Goodbye. I will see you later, buddy. Alright. The Crunch should do at least half. Okay, I lied. Oh, Dark Pulse is going to be nasty. That has a flinch chance too. Imagine if Weezing was faster. We would have been flinched to oblivion. But Psybeam should be able to take it out. There we go. Just enough. Perfect. And there we go. What do you want? You'll regret this. I don't know what I want. Sorry, just leave me alone. Oh, seriously, again? Looks like the Operation Stealthy Kidnap Fuji's a bust, then. Don't you think I know that? It'll be fine. We just have to help out with the takeover of Silphco in Saffron City. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Again. Okay. Hey. Oh, and who might you be? You kept the from Team Rocket. Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. I was too busy trying to call the spirit of Marowak. I think Marowak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's the Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. So, Rasuli, your Pokedex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokemon, it would be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. The Poke Flute! Snorlax, here I come, you fat bastard! I'm about to hear the Poke Flute sleeping Pokemon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokemon. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. 
But unfortunately, after this long journey, we're going to have to be calling this episode to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our silly plays. It really does help out a lot. Follow all of my social media links. You can see various links in the video description down below or go to twitter.com forward slash silly plays. Twitch.tv forward slash silly streams as well as checking out the playlist for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. It includes not only all the episodes before this, but all the ones to come after as well as everything in between. All you need to know about the game if you're interested. But thank you guys so much for watching, like I said, and I will catch you guys later when we go to Saffron City and take over the Silph Co. I'll see you guys then. Later.